Jesus. No matter what you grab, this dog wants it. things to note here um, I did clear the dirt out of the side of the shed reason for this is ventilation air needs to get under there to prevent dry rot it needs to have proper ventilation and it was stuffed with dirt so now you can actually get under there uh, another thing the blocks that are on it are right here so I'm gonna have to come out past here because the cinder box and that's about it should be ready to start digging I'm all measured up, it's all even, so I make I make X's, that's how I do it. Sixteen inch soft and had the sink for three years now I know Ryobi does make the best tools uh, all my power tools on Milwaukee pretty much but I have to say that three years I've owned this thing other than sharpening the chain I haven't had to do a thing to this I did give it a tune up it didn't even need it it still ran but it's just good to do it um, but I haven't had one issue with this thing Alright, so all the boards are here. Um, it's two by fours, two by fours. Home Depot didn't sell anything in eight feet and she wants eight foot fence, so I had to get six foot boards, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to cut these to four feet and it's gonna be two feet of scrap. Kind of a waste, but this is what she wanted, so I'm gonna cut all these and then we will uh, start putting stuff up. So the fence is in on this side. Came out pretty good. Now I gotta take care of a couple boards right here to close this off. 
and then a gate. So I'll show you how to make the gate. Alright, so we're all done here. Got the hinges. Here's the latch for the gate. Open and close. Good to go. Now all that's left to do is tear that old fence out. Get rid of it. This is the fun part. Yeah. <laughs>